Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Droid 4 XT894 utility for Jelly Bean. You just um, go to the uh, thread here and click on Dev Host, and it'll take you to the Dev Host site. Um, you can see that the file is 497 megabytes. It's going to take a little while for some people with uh, slower download speeds. Uh, you just click on the uh, download button right there. Um, when you're done downloading, you want to verify that this MD5 checksum is correct. You just copy that to the clipboard and then open a program called MD5 Check Utility. Um, it'll automatically um, copy from your clipboard the um, MD5 checksum to there. Now you just need to find your Droid for Utility Jelly Bean zip and you just uh you just, just open it um it'll take a few seconds depending on how fast your computer is um to verify that uh, this file is downloaded correctly um for a lot of people this isn't um isn't a huge problem but it only takes a few seconds to verify that this uh this file is not corrupted is uh, complete um when it's done you got um, codes match. You just exit out of that, and you uh, navigate to your f folder where you've got your Droid for Utility um, for Jelly Bean. Um, now I'm running Windows 7, and it um, recognizes it as a uh, compressed file. Um, you can just uh, right-click on that and. Um, open it and then uh, up here it says extract all and you can select where you want it to uh, go um, just click extract and um, it'll take a, a minute or so to, to uh, extract depending on how fast your computer is there are um, it's extracting 36 files and um, it expand um, goes from the size of the download to uh, 1.27 gigabytes once it's done um, extracting the uh, files okay just about done there we go these are the files we're going to need just need to scroll down and find the Windows Utility Bat. Just double click on that and it opens up the script and you press any key to open utility. And it gives you some options. Um, you can flash the uh, XML firmware with uh, a data wipe included or you can flash it without a data wipe. Um, depending on why you're flashing. Um, if it was boot looping, it's possible that you might not need the data wipe. Um, you can also wipe data afterwards. I'm going to um, select wipe data. Um, I'm going to go to the phone. and uh... Alright, uh, my phone is trying to boot. Um, as you can see, I have safe, safe strap um, installed still. It's working. Okay, so this is a safe strap. I'm going to go ahead and um, power off my phone, and then I'm going to press both volume buttons and the power button. And this is our boot mode selection. And I'm going to boot to uh, recovery quick, and uh, hopefully quick. Okay, I'm booting to recovery. Um, when you see this Android Android guy um, laying down, you just need to press both volume buttons again, same time, and it, it'll put you in Android recovery. Let's see if we can get a picture of here. Um, Good. 
Okay. Now, if you can see, we have a QE one slash one. That means the phone is currently rooted. And um, when after a flash or recovery, that should change to zero one. We'll see. Uh, it may not. Okay. So I'm going to reboot the system. Back to um, once it powers down, we can um, press both volume buttons again, and it should boot to the uh, boot menu menu. And we're going to put this in AB AP fast boot. And you just scroll down to there, and then and scroll up to select. And there we are, there AP fast boot. Now back to the computer. Uh, we just need to select um, a one option that we want to wipe that data with the um, firmware. Okay, so it just says um, you want to make sure that it's in um, AP fast boot and connect it to our USB data cable. There we go, you heard the uh, computer connect. Now, this will wipe our user, user data, contacts, apps. Um, not responsible if it wipes internal um, SD card um, data. Um, and do not do this if your battery is low. If your battery dies during this process, it may break permanently, permanently break your uh, phone. Okay, so we're going to press any key to continue. And this, um, okay, it's about 10 minutes later, and um, it has finished writing all the files, and it now was um, attempting to um, reboot my phone and then. Um, It'll install the radio files and then finally boot. Um, and then um, it says we can enter return. Um, I believe that'll take us back to the uh, main menu of the uh, program. You can see that. Yep, we're back to the uh, main menu. The um, phone appears to be installing the radio files. And um, should do, be done uh, shortly. And uh, again, the um, my PC, it um, only took like 10 minutes to uh, flash the files, which was um, pretty fast. Okay, it should be just about done. Okay, we're back. Um, I took um, I don't know, more than five minutes. Now it, it, it's um, trying to um, the phone is trying to reboot. Okay, it's been a few minutes and the uh, the phone is still rebooting. Um, now it says um, preparing the device, preparing device. It should uh, 
so we'd just about be done. It's been another five minutes or so. Um, so we're probably close to 20 minutes into the process. And there we are, our welcome screen. So the phone has booted successfully. Um, I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm, uh, I powered the phone down and I am booting it back to Android Recovery. There we are. Just need to press the um, volume buttons again. Both volume at the same time. And there we go. And you can see that our QE code has changed from 1 slash 1 to um, 0 slash 1, which means um, it still recognizes that at one time this phone has been rooted, but it is no longer rooted. So, um, if uh, you were trying to take this back to uh, send this back for warranty, um, they, they could tell that um, the phone had been rooted. Um, there you go. That's um, how you restore the, the, the firmware on the uh, Droid 4 and with the uh, data wave. Uh, thanks for watching.